Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? All right. It's been a crazy couple of days. I put a couple of videos up over there on Pimpy's News Network. Some really good ones. I was hesitant because I wanted to post them on YouTube. But uh, just because of the nature of things, it's not going to happen. One of the videos I did was uh, pertaining to cloning because some new information came out that you guys might be interested in. I'm sure all the uh, 70 letter followers are going to jump all over that one. I can hear it now. And as well as a couple other ones that, you know, again, I can't put on YouTube. So I encourage you guys to go on over there and check them out. Last night I was a little bored and usually what happens when I want to relax, I'll just put on this uh, YouTube channel that kind of shows you what's going on in outer space. And caught the weirdest object. I encourage you guys to go check it out. It looks like a see-through UFO. <laughs> so go check out that video. When you get towards the end, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm curious to get your guys' opinion about it. Anyways, let's get back to Iraq, shall we? Before we get started, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. And if you're not a subscriber, please do so. Because when you do, it helps out the channel. And I certainly do appreciate it. If you're thinking about buying gold and silver, head on over to our friends at Money Metals Exchange. The link will be down below in the description. If you are a first time buyer and you spend more than $100, use promo code PIMPY SILVER. Yes, it has changed. P I M P Y S I L V E R. So if you're watching this video and it's an older video, make sure you check on current videos because the code is going to be changing from time to time from now on. Also, I can be found on other platforms. Everybody knows I have my own website, Pimpy's News Network. Over here, I post videos that I can't get away with over on YouTube. Also, I have a group on Facebook called Pimpy's Investment Chat. Over here, we do talk about gold, silver, cryptocurrencies, as well as foreign currency investments. Come on over here and join us. It's free to do so. You can also come follow me on Twitter, MeWe, YouTube, and Odyssey. The links for all these platforms will be down below in the description. So for whatever reason, if I get removed off of one platform, you could find me on the others. So what do we have here? The U.S. ambassador confirms her country's continued support for Iraq in strengthening its economy. There has been a lot of this talk going on there. I think the United States is really concerned about the idea of losing Iraq to this uh, BRICS nation. I know that Iraq has talked about joining them if they do. It's uh, over for the United States. The one shiny bright spot that they have right now is Iraq. And that relation is just teetering. So we've got to do everything it takes to keep them happy. Said so the U.S. Ambassador to Iraq, Alina Romanowski, confirmed on Tuesday that her country's continued support for Iraq in combating terrorism and strengthening the Iraqi economy. And that's the same thing they've been saying now for the past year. Parliamentary Finance confirms its readiness to receive the budget and stresses the inclusion of their contracts by the copiers. Not sure what that means, but let's check it out. Okay, so it says the committee is ready to receive the budget and start studying it. So again, remember that I think the Constitution says that once the committee gets their hands on there, they got to hold it for what? It said 90 days. And I don't know if they're going to take that long, but it might be. We'll see. With regards to the revoting of their contracts, the draft budget has not reached us so far, and it's known that 30,000 job grades have been allocated to copied of their contracts from the popular mobilization forces. And there are other degrees for the Army, police, and all security services. So yeah, you better renegotiate your contracts or do what you need to do to make them happy, <laughs> because they're the ones that's keeping your country stable, you hope. Academy called for the need to implement the decisions accurately and not to circumvent them and implement them in a mood. Maliki is commenting on his uh, relationship with Sadr. When asked about the dispute, he said it will end soon. I'm not sure if that's threatening or if they're just getting along. <laughs> said the leader of the state of coalition, Maliki, confirmed on Tuesday that his dispute with Sadr well, in soon, Maliki said in a television statement followed by the news that there is communication with Sauter's movement in the hopes of ending his disputes between the two parties. Dispute with Sauter's movement will end soon. Now, last time they said something positive, Sauter came out and said, no, that's not true. <laughs> so that's how we're going to find out if this is true or not. We'll probably hear from Sauter. But I think Sauter is in some kind of one year long seclusion somewhere. 
It says, urgent, the central bank announces a second package of facilities to obtain the dollars. So here's that second package to help stabilize the economy and the exchange rate. So basically, there's a list of rules that have to be followed. And I'll just spell it out for you real quick. So they're going to be doing work with China and their banks are going to be doing international trade with China. And since China is going to be helping with a lot of the infrastructure because of the oil agreement that they have where they swap oil for work. That means when these people get paid, they want to be paid in yuan. So the United States is saying to Iraq, go ahead and trade in yuan. That's not a problem. But just make sure that whatever remittance that you have, whenever you're sending money to them or they're sending money to you, that everything is done on paperwork and you can show us a perfect trail of where that money is going. They don't want no money laundering. They don't want no shenanigans. So that's pretty much what this whole entire thing is listing out here. Alan Nusseri, the central bank's electronic platform for external transfers, is the beginning of the solution for banking reform and exchange rate stability. Al Sanari, advisor to the Association of Iraq Private Banks, confirmed that the central bank's electronic platform for external transfers is beginning of the solution for bank and reform, and that placing the gap between the official and the parallel exchange rate actually begins to apply the instructions and controls of the external transfer platforms, which was issued yesterday by the Central Bank of Iraq. So, so the major changes with this banking system is they have a more updated one. Really what they want to do is just keep track of everything that people are doing. They want to make sure that money is not being smuggled out of the country and into those countries that are trying to circumvent the sanctions is what we're seeing here. Alan Seri said in the interview to the news that the instructions aim to enhance the role of the banking system and non-banking financial institutions in securing foreign currencies to the final beneficiary and controlling its movement internally and externally leading to controlling and maintaining the stability of the exchange rate and complying with the requirements of the anti-money laundering and financing of terrorism law, which included access controls for the platform, transactions, and the entities allowed to be financed by law, and the procedures and obligations of the banks that enter the platform, mechanisms, balloons, facilities, and exchange and coverage in order to allow the financing of all economic, commercial, and investment activities and achieve legal interests of financing citizens and dollars in sales, buying, treatment, study, and travel. I think it's weird that it says balloons up here. So <laughs> are you talking about when you open up an account, they're just going to give you a balloon? <laughs> you got to keep track of that. He explained that the application of access controls to the platform for the year 2023 confirms that Iraq is strictly committed to the international standards to assure that the dollar reaches the final beneficiary and preserves Iraq's foreign currency funds from illegal behavior and abide by international compliance rules and international standards to be adopted within the global financial system. Global financial system. The central bank digital currency. I can already see this coming. As well as adhering to the decisions of the international community related to international banking transactions. He pointed out that the Central Bank of Iraq mainly aims to achieve economic stability by stabilizing the monetary and financial system through its programs and plans aimed at maintaining stability and the exchange of dinars against other foreign currencies provided the physical policies is combined with it, which must observe financial disciplines in addition to combating economic crimes and activities that violate local and international laws in force. Right here is a really important part I think you should hear. The central bank will make extraordinary efforts in accordance with monetary policy applications and will maintain the real purchasing value of the dinar and its recovery and the stability of the exchange rate targets in the near terms. So the more I read about what's going on with Iraq, it really does look like they're doing what they can to build up the value of the exchange rate for the Iraqi dinar. Now, that doesn't mean that they're going to jump up to any major value right at first. I still believe they're going to go up in increments. But either way, for us, it's good news as long as they don't go backwards like they've done before. Anyways, that's it for now. You guys, let me know what you think. Go check out that UFO video. Let me know what you think there, too. All right, that's it for now. I'll catch you later. I'm out.